this micro credential is going to be about determining mild mental disability and functional mental disability eligibility. The requirements for this submission, three things. The first thing is a complete present levels of performance. So the first part of an IEP is the present levels of performance. And that's where you summarize the individual's current performance incorporate informa information from a variety of sources, most, most importantly, the evaluation. So you have to be able to analyze the, the evaluation and um, put it in the present levels of, uh, of performance in a cohesive manner that makes sense. It also facilitates instructional planning by providing a bridge between the evaluation process and the results. So that means the cohesiveness you have to bridge those evaluation results into a plan or the present levels of that student that makes sense um, using their strengths and weaknesses. Then you also have to describe the behavior specifically in objective measurable terms, meaning that you need to um, especially give baseline data. Um, you gotta have factors in there that have led to success. So that's the strengths and also the weaknesses, um, some things that have the child might struggle with or have difficulty on. Um, and you got to describe the current needs, the current educational needs to in relation to their, their goals, their annual goals. Uh, those have to be in there as well. Um, and then another thing we have to do is develop a written goal, just one goal that you see that you kind of have um, touched upon in the present levels. And that goal has to identify the baseline data that you would see in your present levels and also prioritize the skill that will have the most impact on moving the student performance from the current level that they're at to the desired level that they need to be at. Um, the number of goals can be um, influenced by the student's pace of learning. So in this micro-credential, you just need to do one goal. Okay, um, and make sure that that goal has the A, B, C, D, and F in it. The audience, the behavior, circumstance, degree, evaluation or method of me measurement, and the frequency of data collection. So that is the second thing you need. And the third thing you'll need is the specially designed instruction for this student. That will also come from your present levels. Um, it's got to be delivered by a special education teacher or a related service provider. Um, it's planned, organized, and meaningful um, in an explicit, systematic manner. So, um, you know, if your present levels identify a weakness, then your specially designed instruction should be planned to um, reinforce and, and review and strengthen that weakness. And you'll also have to, um, of course, at the beginning, give us some background information. Um, you'll have to tell us, you know, who you are, where you teach, what grade you teach, what led you to um, want to complete this micro credential. Um, and that will also kind of give us an idea of the reason why you've chosen to analyze the data that you've chosen. Um, and all of this will focus and give you great, high-quality professional learning. Well, when I reflected on this micro-cadential, it gave me a clear understanding of the importance of correctly identifying our students, which is a major um, problem that we're having right now. So this micro-cadential will help give you a clear understanding of um, correctly identifying your student. It also, in, in doing this micro-credential, it will give you a deeper understanding of the adaptive behavior assessment tool that we use when identifying students. And um, we go into that uh, quite a bit in this micro-credential. I totally agree. And you know, most of the time, it is the regular education teacher that completes this adaptive behavior. And um, so it's kind of subjective and they don't realize that um, it plays a major important role in eligibility and identifying a lot of the 
evaluation data within the student's criterion to be eligible for special education. As I think one of the big highlights of this micro-credential would be that the IEP process itself is confusing and overwhelming, but I truly, truly believe that if you chunk this process into sections, that um, it is more manageable and the present levels of an IEP is by far the most important section to understand wholly. If you understand um, the present levels in your student's IEP, then it will, you can build your goals and your instruction and everything right from those present levels. So I hope that you guys get a chance to um, check out our micro-credential and um, learn just kind of like Chastity and I did.